Hello and welcome to your weekly Oracle card guidance. So I apologize for not being available last week. Uh, unfortunately, I have some health issues that I live with, some chronic issues, and sometimes I just have an exacerbation and I'm not able to really work during these times. And so I did take a week off in which I tried to recover and I just rested. And so I didn't uh, upload any videos during this time. I am going to make this week's uh, video quite short and uh, to the point and not uh, labor on about any of the points. And I'm not sure when I will upload the rest of the big card readings. They, are, have been, I have, they have been shot. I just need to edit them and upload them as soon as I feel stronger. So this week we are using here the Enchanted Spell Oracle. And we have three options. They are all magnets. I believe I've used them on this, uh, on this channel before. So it's option one, option two, and option three. Please make your selection, you can go down to the timestamp and you'll direct it to your reading. All right, I hope you have a nice reading. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we're asking, what is our oracle guidance for this week? What is our oracle guidance during this week? And we have the card called abundance. So I feel here as I look at this card that there are many opportunities around you right now. There's a lot of riches around you right now and it's up to you to be able to take this to the next level. So there may be a, a vast amount of abundance around you right now but for some of you you might feel um, that you don't have that or you might not be able to access that abundance or you might feel quite um, quite inhibited as far as that success is concerned. And one needs to realize that if you are in the situation where you're not really able to see all the abundance, all the blessings that you have around you, that it could be because you're quite used to seeing the world in a particular way. And that might be the result of experiencing trauma in the past, being hurt in the past, and um, that having changed your lens, the way in which you view the world the way in which you view your success. What I'm seeing in this card here is that you have a lot of opportunities around you right now and it's up to you to be able to see that and to be able to make the most of it, to be able to actually, um, you know, move ahead with it. And what I see also is that it's just not abundance in one area of your life, but it's abundance in many areas of your life. So if you've been quite um, a diverse person in terms of your interests and you you would like to explore many different things in your life. Right now is an opportunity for you to be able to go in all those different directions and make some progress in all those different directions. Now it's up to you to decide whether you just choose one of those um, options or whether you just choose, um, you know, more than one and how you manage your time accordingly. The other thing I see right now is that you could use ritual or use herbs and use um any kind of um, natural substance to be able to work in the direction of your will. So if you have a particular desire, um, look at what herbs vibrate on the same level as that desire and be take those herbs and work with them so that you can actually create that abundance or it can support the abundance that you bring into your life. Uh, you don't need to do anything elaborate with that and you don't need to have much knowledge with that. You know, for instance, you could just take some cinnamon or bay leaves um, and just keep it with you. And so bay leaves will help you to be more like bold in your decision making and will help you to bring more abundance in your life or help uh, things come along more easily. Whereas cinnamon will uh, bring sweeter relationships with those that you love and people that you are having a difficult time with. Cinnamon has always also been known to bring abundance in, in one's life, but I feel that it's more abundance in, in the quality of one's relationships. So the other thing that I see in this card is that you can go either which way, you know, you could choose to move ahead with this energy or you could choose to move um, backward. You could choose to regress. You could choose to stay inhibited by this energy or you could actually break forth. And it feels to me like there is a ceiling here that you need to break forth. You need to be able to step into something different. You need to be able to do things differently from what you've done before. And it has very little to do with what people expect from you or what you expect from yourself in relation to how you're seen in the world. 
this has a lot more to do with uh, how you feel about yourself and what it is that you truly desire. So if you are a bit stuck in this, I would suggest that you go back and feel how you know, connect to one of your memories as a child and think about the joy and excitement that you had when you discovered something new or you um, played a certain game or you went to a certain place and allow those kind of feelings, um, this curiosity to lead you in the direction that you need to go to right now. There's not much more to say about this card other than you are surrounded by abundance right now and that there's more coming your way and it's really how you manage it that makes a difference. And uh, if you are having difficulties with that, then perhaps take a look at how it is that you can attain some of the help that you need to be able to break through some of those barriers. All right. So good luck to you all and wishing you many, many blessings as you go along. For those of you who have chosen this option here, We are asking, what is your weekly oracle guidance? What is it that you can expect as you go along in this week? And what is it that you need to know right now, as far as your week is concerned? Okay, so for those of you who've chosen this option, what you need to know in this week is that it's a great time for you to heal. It's a great time for you to go inward and work with yourself and more healing is needed before you can actually step outside and engage with the world. So it may be that you have some plans to get out there. You may be feeling quite impatient about the things that you'd like to do. But right now is not the time for that. Right now is the time for you to stay put, go inward and work with yourself as far as your healing is concerned. Because what I'm being shown here is that some of the experiences that you seek are all within you and part of that needs to be channeled towards your healing. What I love about these cards is that they actually uh, suggest some of the herbs that you could use at this time that would be helpful for you. And here it talks about eucalyptus, um, St. John's wort, rose, lemon balm, ignatia, and salt. And I think one needs to be really wary when you are using St. John's wort. You need to be quite careful. So, um, you know, perhaps you could uh, use some of these herbs um, or natural substances in your life right now. One need not ingest it. You know, if you actually just keep it around you or put it under your pillow um, when you sleep, it will actually have an impact as well. So the, this is some of the substances that you need right now in order to be able to facilitate the healing that um, you need in your life. I feel here that, you know, you're a grand, magnificent being. And this part of you is not something that needs necessarily to be shown in the world. You don't need to prove yourself to others. You don't need to be this person um, um, in the world. It's only you who needs to believe that about yourself. It's only you that needs to see yourself in that particular way and actually needs to accept that this is who you are. So this, it almost feels like some of this healing has to do with the fact that you have not been seeing yourself and you have not been giving to yourself what you need. Um, and that this is why things have slowed down around you right now and that you actually need to just stop and do some healing. So I feel like as you go along in this week, it's important to be able to look at where it is that you need to heal yourself. What is it that needs to still be healed? Where is it that there's a gap that needs to be filled? And how is it that you can bring more balance in your life at this moment by working on yourself, working on your well-being and working to establish balance as far as your physical health is concerned? There is a sense here that much can be achieved after a process of healing. And even though you may be watching others move along quite rapidly at the moment and you are moving quite slowly, uh, have faith and trust that it's okay to move at the pace that you're moving at right now and that your time will come too. And after a period of healing, you will be confronted with um, many other experiences that will bring quite a lot of life into you and quite a lot of happiness, many blessings that await you after this period of healing. So my suggestion, suggestion to you is to simply take time off this week and work on your own healing and your own recovery and your own well-being and see how far you can get with that. Wishing you all many blessings as you go along. So for those of you who've chosen this option here, 
We're asking the question, what is it that you need to know right now? What is your weekly guidance? What is it that you've come here to hear? And what is it that's going to help you as you go along in this week? So we have the card of healing once again. And I just want to call another card. In fact, I feel like this card here also wants to come out. So I'm just going to pull it out as well. So here we have, uh, we have three cards. We have the card of healing, we have energy, and we have integrity. And so there's a feeling here that there's a, a huge depletion of energy. I mean, this card for me feels very dark. It feels um, like the energy is very low here. What it does feel like to me is that your integrity is on point. You know, your integrity is on point and that's what's going to actually facilitate your healing and bring about more energy in your life as you go along. So I feel like this week, if you have something that comes up, which actually uh, questions your integrity in any way, if you are made to to do something that you don't really believe in, or if you find yourself coalescing in a particular way and it's not in in alignment with who you are, then pull yourself back and you might not feel very good about that or you might feel like you've lost some energy in the process, but it's okay to do that. The other thing I feel here is that um, the healing for you needs to take place more in relation to others. It needs to take place in relation in your relationships. So it has to be, you know, it has to it, it's more like where you're losing energy in your relationships or why you're using, losing energy. If you can identify where is it and under which circumstances you lose energy. So you might find that you go to a particular place and whenever you're there, you come back feeling quite tired and you have the feeling that it's not because you exerted yourself there, but rather because you are, are losing energy in being in that environment. And these cards here, the way I see them, it's almost like asking you to be to stand in your integrity. You know that um, using this um, example that I've given, that when you go to this place, uh, that you lose energy. And so it's not okay to stay there. It's not okay to engage with that, that you need to be able to remove that from your life and stay in your integrity. Because what I see here is that this card here is this, this is like somehow like not a good energy for you and we need to remove that from you, you and then you will your healing takes place because you have the integrity to be able to um be um loyal to yourself So for me, this card here feels like it's going to give you the healing that you need as long as you can remain in integrity with yourself. And what does it being in integrity with yourself actually mean? Well, I feel like it it me it has many meanings, but here um, I think what's coming up f for you is that you need to actually be true to yourself as to what you want and and what you don't want and be able to vocalize it. You need to be able to vocalize it to people around you because if you're just you know, keeping that to yourself and feeling frustrated, not really able to say exactly how you feel. And then, and then, you know, you, you can actually ruin relationships in that way. You can actually um, hurt yourself in that way because you'll lose energy and you'll also be losing the trust of people around you. So here it says um, that y you have to allow yourself to blossom in your integrity, to be able to work with with your integrity and let your integrity guide you you know um in a path that is unwavering and really strong strength it has strength embodied here and i feel like um this is what this card is saying it's also it's, it, you know it also has these different plants here like oak and ivy sage um there's blossom there's almond almond blossom perhaps there's elder 
um, and there's holly. So these are different plants that, um, or, or different species of trees that you could actually work with right now this kind of energy you know if there's an oak tree somewhere where you walk by or some ivy you know you could perhaps spend a little bit more time in that region and 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 just breathe when you are there i feel like your energy your power comes from actually remaining in integrity with yourself and it's important to do so it's important to stay in yourself and to be able to give yourself that I feel that it's almost like your energy needs to be healed right now. It's almost like you need a clearing of self. And, you know, you can come through to that with using various things such as sage or, um, you know, various clearing substances, frankincense, um, whatever you like to use, salt, you know. But I think that here, this clearing clearing of this uh, kind of energy is going to come from a space of you having integrity with yourself and just really um obeying yourself so um in in that way so if you really don't want to do something well say you know i don't really want to do this or if somebody's been bugging you just say to them listen you've been bugging me and i just you know i need a bit of a break from you right now or maybe you shouldn't do that because it's bugging me that you're doing it I think it's really important for you to be honest about how you feel at this moment. And then, um, you know, I think that this healing is actually something that will come about as a result of you having that integrity and the energy here, it will, it will purify itself. It will come to light. It will be more yours as opposed to being forsaken in the process. So see if you can actually give yourself what you need um, by being honest with yourself as you go along in this week. So I'm going to leave the reading there for this week and um, I wish you all many blessings as you go along. So I'd like to thank all of you for coming by today and I hope that these messages have been helpful and I wish you all well as you go along. Stay safe, stay healthy and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.